Hello guys, in this video I will explain you about copy and move constructors in C++. So firstly I will explain you about what copy constructors are, why we use copy constructors. Okay, so let's get started. So copy constructors pairs the copy of the object and performs deep copy. It copies the resources element by element, it is slow operation and memory inefficient. So what that means? Uh, so copy like uh, Suppose if you have uh, two folders in your uh, operating system, like it can be Windows or Linux or uh, Mac. Okay, so let me take the example for Windows. So you have two folders, and uh, in each folder you have uh, like uh, in each folder you have one file. So you want to copy uh, the file from one folder to another folder. So what you basically do, you will uh, like uh, copy the file and paste it on to that folder. Okay, so by that way you will have two copies of the file so one copy in folder 1 and another copy in folder 2 now if we want to move the file from one folder to another folder what you will do so you will cut the file and paste it on another folder so that is the move so in copy we will have two copies okay in move we will have only one copy so in move just we move the file from one folder to another folder so that's the move operations so in that way, uh, folder 1 will not contain the original file, now that file will be contained in folder 2. But in copying, uh, both folders will have the files. So obviously, uh, copy will consume more memory, okay, and move will be like memory uh, efficient because it has only one copy in the memory. And uh, copying, uh, for that we need to like copy all the text in the file all the elements in the file okay we have to perform the deep copy like we have to perform element by element copies but in the move we simply have to move the pointer like uh, like in uh, if you have studied five five structures in five structure we have file nodes and uh, in node we have pointers like from where the uh, data starts in the memory so we will just uh, move uh, like copy the constructor uh, sorry copy the pointer to that folder and it is very fast process and uh, memory efficient okay so let's understand better by a diagram so in this diagram we have two operations one is copy and another one is move so let's first talk about the copy so in copy we have two objects object one and object two as you can see here in each object we have resources uh, so resources can be like uh, memory it can be memory it can be like input or any input output device like uh, device drivers and sockets network sockets or anything else okay so so let's uh, assume that uh, in, uh, as a resource we are assuming one memory okay so uh, uh, so in resource we have a array okay so as you can see here Uh, in this, uh, we have firstly uh, we have the pointer here, and then are the elements of array. So these are the four elements. Okay. So if we want to uh, perform the copy operations, what we will do is we will just simply copy the element by element to the another object. Okay. So as you can see here, we will. Uh, this is element one, and I will perform the copy element. Uh, to the corresponding element 1 of object 2 and this is element 2 of object 1 and I will perform the copy of the corresponding element 2 of object 2 so this will go on till element 4 okay as you can as I have mentioned here in the step 1 we will just copy the elements so uh, this is called the deep copy deep copy means uh, we perform the element by element copy okay so that is a, a copy operation so in the move operation uh, we do not perform deep copy, we perform shallow copy. So in the shallow copy, uh, what we do is, we don't perform the element by element copy. We just simply copy the pointer, address of the uh, memory to this object too. So by that way, we do not perform like uh, we, uh, uh, element by element copying of the elements. So it, so by that way, it is uh, more memory uh, like uh, it is memory efficient, obviously it is memory efficient because we do not need to create the copies of the elements and it is also fast because uh, as in the case of copy, we need to perform the copy for the all four elements. So in this case, we just need one copy. Okay, so we just need the copy of resource pointer. 
So that's the step one. In step one, we perform the uh, copying of the pointer. In the step two, what we do is, uh, so as we, this is a move operation, okay? So in the move operation, uh, one object will have to lose its resource and give the resource to object two. Okay, so to lose the resource of object one, we have to set the resource pointer to null PTR. Null PTR is basically a null pointer. So we have to set the resource to null PTR so that only object two will have the access to that memory location, to that resource. Okay, so that's the move operation. So in the move operation, we have two steps. First, so step number one is copying the pointer, resource pointer. Step number two is setting the original resource pointer to null after copying it, so that only object two will have the access to that pointer. So that's a that's a, that's a common sense uh, because uh, move means we uh, transfer the ownership of one object to another object. Okay, so now uh, let's give me an example in Visual Studio. So let's go to the. So I have already created a code for the reference. So. Uh, in this module, we have one class, uh, okay, in class uh, class ABC, and the private data member of the class is the pointer, int pointer A, okay. And we, here we have, uh, in public, we have a default constructor, parameterized constructor, copy constructor, and move constructor, and one destructor here. And here we have one function just for the reference, and in a main function, I'm just creating the class object, and assign it to fun uh, like uh, I'm calling the function fun here and the output of the function will be assigned to the B object here okay so let's experiment a little with this code so firstly uh, I should give you a brief about this code so in the default constructor uh, what we are doing is first we're checking if it is uh, null PTR. If it's null PTR, then we'll uh, allocate a memory to it. So the we locate memory using the new operator, and then we initialize it to zero. Okay. Else, uh, if the memory is already allocated to, to this uh, resource or whatever a pointer, uh, then we we'll just simply initialize uh, star a to zero. I mean, by different the reference the pointer, and we initialize to zero. And in the case of parameterized constructor, we are simply doing the same, but, but instead of initializing to zero, we are initializing with some uh, element x. In the case of copy constructor, uh, what we are doing is firstly we are checking if it's null PTR. If it is null PTR, then we allocate memory for the A, and then we uh, allocate the same value or uh, initialize with the same value that. Uh, uh -huh object x has okay and in the move constructor we are not allocating memory here we just simply copy the address of the pointer so we are just copying the address here so x dot a is pointer as you can see here this is the pointer. We are just simply uh, assigning one pointer to another pointer in the move, uh, move constructor. And then we are setting the. So, this is the step number one, as uh, mentioned in the slide. This is the step number one. First, we have to copy the constructor. And the step number two, we have to set the original source pointer to null. So, in step two, this is step one. Okay, so in the step two, we are setting the original x to a equal to null PTR. That's why we have we don't have const here because we are modifying the value of x. In the copy constructor, we have const because we are not modifying the value of x there. But in the move constructor, we are modifying the value of x. So that's why we don't have const here. Okay. So if you know uh, like to know more about the const references, uh, you can check out my another video. I have made the video of, uh, regarding the const references. So, and in the destructor, uh, first I will check that uh, if if the memory is located, then only I will destruct the memory. Otherwise, simply I can't destruct the memory. Okay. So if the memory is located for uh, the A, then I will call the delete here. Okay. 
so it will just release the memory and to avoid the memory leaking and uh, this is the function uh, abc fun uh, this i am just simply uh, declaring an object using the parameter wise constructor here and simply return the object here so now let's try it firstly i will give you the example of copy constructor okay so do this firstly i will declare a variable object a abc a with the value of 6 here Seven. Now I will declare more uh, one more object B, and I will copy the object A to B using the copy structure. Like this. Now if I debug this. As you can see, firstly we are in the parameterized constructor here. This is the line number 69. We have ABCA. We have uh, giving the value of 7. So this is calling parameterized constructor. And the line number 70, we are copying the object A to B. So let me call the copy constructor. As you can see here, then we are destructing the value. So as we have two objects, so it will call two destructors here. Destructing value 7. So it is calling two times. So uh, this means that uh, we are creating the copy in the memory. So like we will have two objects in the memory. So that is not memory efficient. But if we want to just copy, uh, sorry, move the object A to B. So that's a simple way to do this by using this function. So the move for constructor only work with the temporaries. So uh, for that you need to know about L value and R value. If you don't know about L value and R value, it itself is a very uh, detailed topic. So it deserves a, another video for that. So I will explain you about L value and R value some another video. So in, so to give the brief, L value simply a with some variable, R value some temporaries like uh, in this function I am declaring the object A. So this is a temporary object because uh, it will get destroyed when I will step out of this function. Okay, so it will get destroyed. So it is a, a temporary variable. So it is R value. R values are used in expressions. Like uh, if, when we calculate some expression, then we have R values in that, and L values uh, some variables that we have declared. Okay. So to invoke the move constructor, we need to uh, do the copy using the R value. So that's why it has two parentheses operator here. So it indicates we are accepting the R value here. So if we are having just only one parenthesis, it simply say we are accepting uh, L value here. So L values go to copy constructor and R value go to move constructor. So if I declare object A, B, C, B, to make it more simple, so let me modify this function a bit. Uh, now instead of giving this only the constant value 6 here, I will give the value x here and I will pass the value from the main function. So if I want to Previously, I was copying the value 7, so let's transfer the 7 here. Okay, so now it will invoke the move constructor here. Why move the constructor? Because we are creating, uh, this is a temporary. Well, firstly, we will invoke the function fun with the value 7, then it will uh, initial, uh, declare a object abc a. And it will invoke the parameterized constructor here. Then, when it returns, the objects destroy. So, this is a temporary. So, it is a temporary object. And this object comes here and it transfers to the B. So, it, we will not perform the copying here. We will just uh, move from the move operation. So, it will, it will transfer the ownership of object this object A to this object B. 
so it is a uh, fast and memory efficient so let's try this As you can see here, first we invoke the parameter as constructor with value 7 and then we are in the move constructor, as you can see here, and we destruct the value 7. Now you must have one question like why we have only one destructor here, but it should be 2, yes. That's the like how move constructor is working here, if you can see here, because uh, we have just one ob object A. Okay, so that's called the parameter is constructor here. Then we transfer the object A to B. We do not perform copying here. So that's why it has only one object in the memory. So that's the meaning of move. Move means we don't perform copies in the memory. We just transfer the ownership of the object to another object. So that's why we have only one copy in the memory. So that's why it's calling on the structure only one time here. Because we have only one copy in the memory. So that's how the move constructors work. So this is all about the copy and move constructor. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. And yeah, I will keep posting uh, another new videos in regarding, regarding complex topics. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching this. See you soon.